But uh, apparently the political influencer Destiny has been Ugh. banned on kick for drum roll, please. Chad, do you not have a drum roll? <laughs> Don't ask how I made that noise. <laughs> hate speech. Anyway, Glad so it. yes, uh, kick will ban you for hate speech because it's in their TOS, which of course, you know, we said as soon as, you know, Amazon and everything. We found out what it was doing. It was like, give it time. Then Amazon, or then there was suddenly kick or hate speech rules in their TOS and blah, blah, blah. We won't rehash mm -hmm. that. But yes, you can do illegal things on kick as long as you don't get caught <laughs> or, or I guess not arrested anyway. But if you speak the wrong thing, they will kick you from kick. So Destiny got kicked from kick. Couldn't happen I, to a shittier person. I mean, he's just, he's, the thing is that they turned the eye of, he turned the eye of Sauron onto himself and then decided, you know what I'm going to do with this? I'm going to act a fool and double down because I'm like such an edgy boy. Like, no, you're not. You're, I think somebody described him as his, like, basically his aesthetic is like that of a gay hobbit. And I'm like, that's not untrue. Well, I mean, he kind of looks like one. <laughs> yes, I know. His, I mean, I don't know what he looks like, but if that's anywhere close And this is his vanity picture current. right here. So, no, like, <laughs> oh, no, Hypnotic has been going in on him. And just it's just pretty hilarious. But there's, like, a picture of him that's been going viral where he's at the beach. And it's just, yeah, Gay Hobbit. I is, like, saw that thing. picture. Yeah. I didn't have enough bleach. Yeah. Oh, but, yeah, but, he breached hate speech rules and got kicked. Well, because he just wouldn't shut up. If he had just shut up, because he he said things that were awful, repugnant, and horrible years ago. They, they found mm -hmm. um, some clips of him where he was saying, you know, basically, I'm ready for, like, the right to be genocided. And, yeah, um, yeah. You know, someone asked, you know, oh, are you going to join in and get your guns? And he's like, yeah, just let me roll up to Nebraska and pick up my, I forgot what he said he had, but anyway. And yeah. so I'm like, yeah, that's that's more actionable than like, I don't care that this dude died. But see, the thing is that they weren't paying attention to you. And now everybody is paying attention to you. Congratulations. You're famous. But um, Rimbozo. I like that. Yeah. But it's just like now that everybody's looking at you, you decide to violate TOS. And you know that it's so sensitive. Don't think that this snake won't eat itself, my dude. You're not immune just because you have the right politics. You move slightly out of the Overton window or they feel like they can cancel you. They totally will. So, I mean, yeah, it's just, I mean, I'm not, I'm, I'm not celebrating, but again, uh, it's like a lot of people said, I'm not celebrating, but I don't care. Um <sighs> Yeah, like, I, mean, I, I won't cry about it if they ask, you know, should we do if they asked if the kick called me and asked me, should we should we ban this dude? I'd be like, did he do something illegal? No, then no. So uh, but they're not calling me to ask me. I'm not going to raise funds <laughs> for him. Like, no, you knew what yeah. you were about. This, I mean, is, this is your own petard. <laughs> Welcome to the hoisting. I'm totally fine with it. Uh, I mean, it is the rules they set forth and <clears throat> they're enacting their rules. Yeah. And um, yeah, How that I see a lot of there. people complaining about it. It's like, how could you? And then you don't do anything about these illegal acts. It's like, well, have you read their TOS? Yeah. I mean, read the TOS. I, I, I We sounded the alarm that this is a bad place to be a long time ago after reading the TOS. It's not my fault that you're an idiot. <laughs> yeah. It's, but it's, it's, crazy. I don't know a whole lot about Destiny until recently. I'm sorry. But he is totally, he, in my opinion, he is one of these people who reads all that QAnon stuff and believes absolutely everybody that is his political opposite believes that shit. Yeah. That, that is like my best interpretation after hearing all these clips and everything because anytime somebody pries out why. Mm -hmm. You know, and he starts listing things. I, I keep thinking, it's like, isn't that QAnon shit? Yeah. Like, nobody in the Republican Party believes that shit except for those QAnon people. Which is a new term that I learned when I got called QAnon for something. And I was <laughs> like, the fuck is that? Didn't know who they were at the time. 
They're they're the opposite of the blue and on people. <laughs> yeah. QAnon is the original. I guess going around saying that the, the assassination attempt was staged. Yeah. But... Well, and the thing is that there have been conspiracy theorists for as long as there have been people. Um, I mean, how many people for after Elvis died? How long did people? How many people still thought he was alive? It was like he is alive. He went with the aliens. Okay. Um... <laughs> <laughs> that was my reaction to you, Meg. <laughs> Getting out myself. No, I just said, I said okay. I accept you as you are. There has to be a percentage. See, there we go. <sighs> Look, you best I don't point. believe the Earth is flat. Chad. Yeah, there's the there's the flat earthers. There's hey, the... the Earth is flat. It's in a donut shape, twisted around to an infinity sign. That's right. <laughs> it's a flat donut. So there's yeah, a hole in the middle. Infinity donut. <laughs> infinity donut. What kind of donut is that? Anyway, okay, but yeah, I mean that's the thing though. There are always going to be people who believe in crazy stuff. There are always going to be people who want to believe in things. The thing with Destiny though is that he believes that he knows what you really mean when you say things. Now, I don't know if this means that he and himself is actually disingenuous when he says things, but if you say, I think X, he'll say, no, no, what you really mean is this because you're actually a bad person. I'm like, well, no, that's not what I mean. I don't mean that thing, but he won't believe you. And he'll take examples of someone on, uh, on an extreme and say this is your position and kind of holds up this what aboutism, but it's very, very disingenuous. I'm like, hey, take the argument oh, yeah. that I've given you. <laughs> take the argument that I've given you and argue that. Don't argue from somebody something from left field that I have not said. Well, and it's yeah, he's just he's yeah, I, I saw that Pierce Morgan thing, I think is that's what this guy's name is, Pierce Morgan. And the British uh, the British yeah, bloke. Pierce yeah, Morgan. the British guy. And that, that's what he did a lot of. And then I've watched a lot of other Destiny versus other people. And he, like, will constantly, like, no, that's what about ism. That's what about ism. You can't, do, no, 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 that's what about ism. Like, constantly. But then when I see him doing the exact same thing every time he does it, then, you know, the oh, person called him <laughs> that's, right. like, debating him will start to point it out. And then it's just like, I, I never said, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, dude, I'm pretty sure the guy is just, Dumb as a box of rocks. Oh yeah, who there's likes nothing to going on. He's upstairs. smarter because he knows large words. I think that he's intelligent, <laughs> but he's not humble enough to gain any wisdom. And if you have no wisdom, it doesn't matter. Without wisdom, there we yeah. go. That's a good if, way. If you have no wisdom and you have intelligence, it doesn't matter. You might as well be just dumb. It does. It does not matter. It, it it's actually more dangerous because you can fool people who are not. Who are fooled by clever words and clever sounding arguments and don't want to take the time to actually reason through the dumb thing you just said. But it sounded smart, so you can fool people. And, and that's that's the problem, you know. I, ha I have a problem with arguing with those kinds of people on Facebook. Well, and also let's not ignore the elephant in the room of destiny being a pedo. Oh, oh yeah, but... there was that. I'm, I don't know anything about that one, but I know he's a cuck. But yeah, so it, it's just in these unearthed. I, I mean, I don't know how pure you want to stay, my dude, because that 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 road we can hoe it, but we might wind up in like Mordor <laughs> there. Like it's yeah. it's a dark dark place, man. The the dude has twisted himself by the thing is that it's really I think it's something that's kind of interesting, and you find it with a lot of intellectual people who actually have no uh moral center you can actually talk them into anything like a person who's actually not as intellectually um uh strong would would just go nah i just don't believe in that because that's just crazy and they won't give you a reason they just have it on this gut feeling that's wrong yeah someone who's yeah. intellectual though you can actually argue them into a place where oh. they can't yeah if they don't have i think a moral i know what center, you're talking about now yeah yeah, that was this guy. That was well. This is one of the guys. Vosh yeah, is another I one. I mean, there, there's been plenty of them. But yeah, yeah. You, intellectuals with He's no moral center, and suddenly they like, wind up. It's okay if. Yeah. And it, it, it it's no, not no. gonna like doing the whole argument of it doesn't actually hurt the kid and all yeah. this other bullshit, and it can yeah. actually help them grow. And it's like really. Yeah, and and it's no, because we need of to the go fact... ahead and just. Yeah. They have no moral whichever. center, and yeah. they're and they're they're things so I can't say without getting banned. Yeah, they're, <laughs> they're, 
they're so did intelligent. It again, they're, they're so intelligent and head heavy that they can actually short circuit their um, natural moral inclination. So natural moral inclination is no, that's wrong. That's always wrong. That's bad. And these people have that in them because I think that it's something common amongst most people who are not actually, you know, sociopaths or just somehow damaged. But the thing is that if you give them enough arguments, they can short circuit that and they'll go, oh, OK, well, then I'm going to go against my natural instinct and just allow for that. And that's when they say these crazy, heinous things and they'll make these arguments for them from their head knowledge, though, not from the not from their actual moral center because they've been able to kind of bypass that with quote-unquote well-reasoned arguments because they have nothing to actually base their morality on well see that's the thing also is that one i people that are like uh destiny here is textbook sociopath so and they, they there was even a thing that said that the higher your iq i'm not going to say he has a high iq i don't know uh the higher the likelihood that you are indeed a sociopath that doesn't guarantee it yeah but it is a um measurement that can be used like if somebody comes in and they're like i kick puppies i enjoy it kind of thing or you know whatever and uh they're highly intelligent they might be like you might be a sociopath or a psychopath <clears throat> but what do we what are you what are we saying when we say that though does that mean that that's someone who's irredeemable or is are we no, saying no, 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 no. someone who has a tendency to um against a tendency against empathy and it's something that they're going to have to work on and learn or they will be a horrible dangerous human being uh it's the empathy it's the empathy thing but it's challenging because these a lot of people who are sociopathic will not see themselves as in the wrong the yeah, ego is strong. <laughs> yeah. And essentially what you have what you have to do in some of those cases is um kind of the thing is there's two routes that go with this. You either humble them through words and they kind of see the logical like, hey, I am a dick. Mm -hmm. Or they go the opposite direction like destiny here and several others that uh, I also can't think of all the top of my head where they'll double down and they'll dig deeper like a um what's those bugs that you you pull them off and the head burrows in isn't that a tick ticks yeah like ticks they'll bur they'll <laughs> burrow deeper into their ideology and no you're wrong no matter what mm -hmm. and yeah it just eventually people like that it's not going to I, I won't say there's no help but it's going to take a mac truck hitting them before they realize their error of their ways well i think that my, my question is like is a person burnt born that way or do they become that way oh are they born or become argument Nature nurture. okay so because... you can have the you can have the propensity but through your own choices, you can actually make yourself deeper and more callous to your average human being. Because, I mean, I don't, I, I've seen him in other things and he was able to kind of get along with people. But now he's just mask well, off. I'm a complete bridge troll. Moo ha ha. Well, so keep, keep in mind, in the past when he's been friendly with people, mm -hmm. look at the people that he's friendly with. Are they meek? Are they yes men? then he's not really getting along with them. They're just his yes men. Like me and Zio butt heads every now and again. Mm -hmm. I'm still yet. right. <laughs> Always. <laughs> Except for when I'm not. Whatever you agree with. But, but even when I'm not, I'm still right. <laughs> see, that's the thing is like, there's the people that have chemical imbalances in the brain that cause them to act that way. And there's mm -hmm. medication for that. Um, but, uh, then there's people who are socially engineered that way, where they just consume certain rhetoric and stuff that just kind of shapes their worldview into this twisted us and them mentality, hmm. which huh, you see that a lot these days. Yeah. Especially from the news. <laughs> I mean, yeah. 
Uh, what is it? Yeah. They're trying to ban that one picture of uh, Trump with, with his yeah. fist in the air. Because uh, I did... it's too favorable for him now. Yeah. I did see a really funny video where they were talking about the Secret Service, or lack thereof. I put it in chat if you want to. It's like two minutes, I think. But I thought it was really funny. It was from another country where they just did this video talking about what... <laughs> It's, oh. it's worth seeing. It's yeah, cool. Chad saw. I think Chad saw it. It made me laugh inside. I've seen a couple now. Oh my gosh! All right, sorry. Boop. All right, all right, all right, everybody. We're gonna watch whatever this is. Exclusive sorry. video of Trump's Secret Service from in a QAnon. Q anonymous. <laughs> Q anonymous. That's uh, funny. All right. Slight difference, okay? Boss, they as the building the being checked, which building? The only building in front of the stage. Ah, that the building. Exactly. Maybe. Like maybe. Like maybe <laughs> not. How maybe not? You think it's necessary? <laughs> I see a guy move. Am I getting an echo? Moving on the oh, roof. Ah, mind. the usual guys. Boss is very suspicious. Might be doing a parkour. He's lying down flat with someone. <laughs> probably resting after doing parkour. He's looking towards Trump. Maybe the Trump fan tried to get a better view of him. Okay, he's pulled out a rifle. A rifle. Definitely a rifle. Can you tell if it's a real rifle? How I know if it's real? Maybe it's fake. And we are worrying for nothing. It's a real rifle. Very strange. Boss, awaiting your orders. Do you see any clay pigeon shooting devices? I don't think he's practicing shooting clay pigeons. We need that to be sure, Frank. Boss, now he's aiming towards Trump. Can you see his expression? What expression? <laughs> his facial expression. He seems to be mad. I don't know, boss. Or is he looking at him admirably? I can't tell. Maybe he's just using the rifle scope to get a better look. Boss, if we don't... That was sad. Boss, we shoot him. Stay calm, Frank. I don't think... <laughs> he's shooting, boss. Holy cow. He's still shooting. <laughs> what do I do? Are you sure you don't see any clay pigeons around? No. <laughs> All right. In that case, fire a warning shot immediately. <laughs> we couldn't have no Frank. We did everything we could. Some things are just unpredictable. An attack on a presidential candidate and a guy shooting. This is not the US I know. <laughs> and I was that just was like, oh, that, like... Was not, that, was, that was not what I had seen actually, but <laughs> I mean I, I believe it too. That's the same. <laughs> maybe he's doing parkour. No, he's laying down. He maybe he's resting after I doing mean, parkour. You got like that one guy who was saying that he had a bead on him for like two minutes. It was not allowed to fire on him or something. <sighs> it's just like that, that that was definitely the conversation you guys were having was <laughs> Yeah. I mean, that's the the thing is that this is the best case scenario at this point, you know? Like there everything else is horrifying and something that you just kind of don't want to believe. I mean, I think we do need to, we do need to actually know what happened, but everything seems dark in some way. I'm like, either you guys are so incompetent that you should never be, you should never be out loud outside without supervision or, or this was something awful, but um, yeah, I mean, at least yeah. we have dark humor. So there's that. So I, I'm, I'm a firm believer. They need to update the, Secret Service's um, uniform and add special helmets. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll I'll drop the taxpayer money on that because these guys are fucking morons. DEI is in the Secret Service. Yeah. Well, I mean, there there have been a lot of reports going around, so I don't want to just yeah. You yeah. Know. Well, it turns out he changed the Secret Service detail right after that too. So there's yeah, no women even anymore. Piers that... Morgan noticed that he said all of a sudden <laughs> they he's got a bunch of strapping men <laughs> who, are, <laughs> who are guarding him instead of like four women who look around like frightened chipmunks. I was like, you know, what the no, heck? nothing against Morgan, but he sounded a little too excited when he said strapping men. I'm just saying, <laughs> oh, maybe he likes men. I don't know. I don't know anything about the dude. Right. So. But I'm sure uh, I've been accused when, when of watching him too. Okay. When you're when you're British and you say strapping men, you just sound a little gay. It's you know. <laughs> yeah, it never comes out good. It, it just doesn't. There's there's no way to say that in a in that sort of way. You just sound too, your your voice is naturally cheeky. So yeah, you know, this is how it comes. Well, I'm totally not cooking food or anything. <laughs> oh yeah, he's totally cooking 